Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. My name's Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and today I'll be showing you guys how to connect your PlayStation 3 controller to your Windows PC. Before we get into what you're going to need to follow this tutorial, I just wanted to add that I've created two previous videos showing you how to connect your PlayStation 3 controller to your Windows PC. Now the only difference is that the drivers are finally signed so you can use it on a Windows 64-bit machine without having to use the driver signature overrider. With all that aside, let's move on to what you're going to need in order to follow this tutorial. Alright, so what you're going to need is a PC running a Windows operating system, a Type-B USB cable, and if you don't know what a Type-B USB cable looks like, I have a diagram on screen to help you out. And of course, you are going to need a PlayStation 3 controller. I'm now going to hop over to my PC to show you guys how to connect your PlayStation 3 controller to your PC. Alright, now that we're over to my PC desktop, as you can see, I have two files on my desktop. One called Motion Enjoy 32-bit and the other 64-bit. Now, I covered this in my last tutorial. You need to know what kind of operating system you have. Now, I have a 64-bit operating system, and I'm going to show you guys how you can tell what kind of operating system you have. Now, you need to go to the Start menu, and then you need to go to Computer. The next thing you need to click is System Properties. This will tell you the information about your computer. The next thing you need to do is you need to go under System and then have a look at System Type. As you can see, I have a 64-bit operating system. You may have 32-bit, that's completely fine. So, whatever you have, depending on what your computer has told you, you need to install one of these. Now, since I have 64-bit, I'm going to install the 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, install the 32-bit installer. So, since I have 64-bit, I'm going to open it, I'm going to run it, and it'll come up with an installer. Just keep clicking Next and uh, this won't show up for you it showed up for me because I have it already installed but I'm gonna overwrite it so and uh, you know what I'm not gonna create a quick launch icon so we're gonna let it install and now we can run the DS3 tool and it will come up with the interface that looks like this now at this point you can plug in your PS3 controller now that I have plugged in my PS3 controller, you can see that it's automatically recognized my controller as DualShock 3 6-axis USB. Now, this is the fun part. This is the fun part where you can customize controller to your liking. Now, the, the one that I like is the um, PlayStation 2 point of view joysticks. Or you can choose anything you like. You can customize it if you'd like. And um, you can customize the LED information. Um, so... For this, it'll tell you the battery information using the LEDs on the back of the PS3 controller. Uh, I, I generally like to go to custom, and I generally like to select one because I'm player one. Um, and you can also test the vibration right here by clicking vibration testing. Um, we can click the game controller panel to bring up the game controller panel built into Windows. And we can test our controller here. And as you can see, none of it's working except for the D-pad. So what we need to do is we need to close this. And we're going to close you since uh, we're a little bit out of date for this software, but that's okay. We can click Enable. This will enable all the settings we have chosen. Now we can go back into the Game Controller panel, and we'll have a look at it again. And I'm going to use the analog sticks. As you can see, it's now working, and everything else is working too. So that is how you connect your PlayStation 3 controller on a Windows PC. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And remember, guys, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn.